Okay, I have a garbage disposal here, and it is actually leaking out the bottom. Let's take a quick look at that. So we know that it is bad, and we gotta change this unit out. Uh, so I'm gonna go through and replace it. First thing, turn off the power to the disposal from the circuit breaker. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna disconnect the dishwasher. Okay, that's pretty easy. Now I gotta disconnect as a drain. Boom. There's one on the other side too. Okay. There. All right, and now we need to take it off from the top of the unit. Okay. So now I need to take the actual unit off and there's this little metal piece and we want to go counterclockwise with this. Okay, it's actually feeling that screwdriver a little bend a little bit. So I'm using a, a stronger one now. There we go. Okay. And now... There we go, got the old one out. So after you disconnect it, ah, I'm gonna undo the electric on it and we can pull the whole thing out. There's a little screw that will allow us access to the electric hookup here. And your setup might be different, maybe you just have a plug that plugs into a wall socket, but you probably don't. You probably just have a wire going directly into it. So you first have to take this off and make sure that you turned off the uh, circuit breaker ahead of time. And we can disconnect these. First, we got to pull these wires out of here. Once you pull the wires off, you can undo these little screw caps that keep them together. Black and white. And there's also a grounding screw, a little green screw, we want to unscrew that too. Once that green screw is loose enough, we can sort of, you see that little wire there, we can pop it off the screw. Okay, but the wire is still connected because we got this clamp that keeps it sort of tight here. So we got to undo these screws and then we can pull the wire out from under here. So this is real easy. You just use the screws to undo the clamp there. And then once it's kind of loose, you should be able to pull that through. It might take some taking if the wires are old and hard and you got to make sure that get undone from here. And these wires are part of this one. These thick ones coming out are part of this. We can yank all that out. There. The wire is, and we're going to use these wires to reconnect the new one. And the new model is just the same thing, pretty much, as this old one. It's just an updated version. All right, so here we can see old unit, and here we can see the new one. They really are the same thing, only one is updated. This is the updated version. They call it the 5, the 500 now. You can see it's a little bit smaller, but the cool thing about it is same mounting equipment. So you see other people, they have to 
take the whole sink out and replace the bottom here. We don't need to do that because it will just go right on there. Now you can if you want, but it comes with the hardware to do all that. So, and a new little item here. So you could go ahead and change that out or we can take this and just put it right up there. Now, if you have a dishwasher as part of your setup, there's an extra step that we're gonna to need to take. This tube is the input from the dishwasher. So what we're gonna to need to do is open that up. It comes closed off by default in case you don't have one. So we're gonna take a screwdriver and a hammer and we're gonna punch through the tab on this end so the dishwasher can input its waste through there and then it comes out the output of the garbage disposal. And then once we poke it through, we want to pull out the tab. It's a little plastic piece that covers it up. Now it's dishwasher ready. Okay, now even though this is good and I can keep it, I'm actually going to replace this hardware anywhere with the one it came with. I actually suspect the plumber's putty underneath this one is not as thick and as solid as it could be. So if I'm going to redo that, might as well just replace the uh, the hardware. But from this point, it's exactly the same. I could just put the new one in, hook it up to the electrical, and go from there. But I'm actually going to do these steps anyway. So we got to undo the screws here. And we just need to loosen it just enough so that we can lift it. I'm going to go all the way actually because we need to pop the ring off here. All right, we're going to lift this up. Pop this up. And then this is the ring I'm talking about. There's a ring right there that is holding all this stuff on. So if we just can just pry this off be good. Okay, now this is what I wanted to see. You can see this is kind of old. And when you filled the sink up real high, it was dripping a little bit out. So I'm going to clean all this stuff off. You can sort of see it peel on a little bit. And put some new stuff on. And get a new seal on there. Okay, and then once we got this really nice and clean, we can add plumber's putty around here that'll seal the edge and that'll sort of be like the membrane that we just pulled out. Okay, okay now I can take the little sink thing it came with. Push this down. I'm just gonna cut off the extra with this razor blade. Okay. Next part is this cardboard. And then the new hardware the garbage disposal came with. So loosen these screws up before we put it up there. That'll give us enough space for the next step. Okay. And then once we got this up here, we can put on our ring that's going to hold all of this in place. But this is going to be a hard part. Now 
I can tighten this up and adjust this just right so that it'll stay on tight. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is the electrical for the new one. You don't need to take this cardboard out. Now, you might not come with a, a special little clamp piece on yours, at least I didn't but I have the old one, so if you have the old one too, you can just screw this in. And this is, this is not required, this is just the clamp that held the hose in tight, um, so it doesn't get yanked out by accident, but hopefully you don't have anyone pulling and yanking on this anyway. So it's not really a required piece, but I'm going to use it anyway. And with it loose, I can take the actual electric, fish this through here. Okay, and once you fish this cable all the way through, if you have one of these, and you might not, and it's not really totally needed, but you can screw this and tighten this clamp up. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now I'm going to hook up the green grounding wire and hook that wire around the green screw like it was on the old one. And once we get that wrapped around, we can tighten it up. Okay, once the green is done, you want to hook up the black to black and the white to white. So what I like to do is take the wire and kind of twist them by finger first. And then we can take our gray twist snaps and spin those back on too. Okay, once that's on there we can do the same thing to the white one. Twist it around by hand first and then we can put in our screw cap. And then this isn't necessary but what I like to do is also do a little bit of electrical tape just around that screw cap. Alright, then we can tuck these wires back inside this section. and then close it back up with the screw it came with. All right. Look at us now. It is hooked up electrically. All right, now we gotta hook it in place. <clears throat> Driver to really help lock this in. You want to keep it facing the right direction though. As you tighten this in place. Ugh. All right. Okay, time for final steps now. The uh, garbage disposal came with this a little rubber gasket thing for the drain, so I'm going to place that in here. This metal piece is actually the old one. It came with a, a replacement, but this one's already around the pipe. So now I can screw those in. Right to tight. Okay. Okay, and then we can re-hook up the dishwasher. Uh, 
All right. We should be fully hooked up. I'm going to turn the disposal power back on. Let's we'll give it a shot. All right. It is going. Make sure everything drains down correct. No more leaks, and we are good to go.